Welcome to my Connecting Networks lab review. Here we're dealing with lab 7124, which is the configuring VPNs uh, lab. So I already have it open. It's been running for about three minutes. Here's the address table. Here is the uh, key table or the key phase. And here's the phase two portion. We're gonna be doing IPsec since the phase one and phase two. So what I'm going to do is I actually have already this uh, across or on a different screen. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll down. So read the objectives, read the scenario. Let's go and hop directly into part one. So a uh, security technology package license must be enabled in order to complete this activity. So what we're going to do is we're going to issue a show version command in a user or privilege exec option. I'm going to do this in R1. Which is really weird because, oh, password here is Cisco. I did not read that note right there. Show version. So you'll see that we have our security, but it's disabled. So what we need to do is we need to actually do this portion right here. I'm actually going to go ahead and copy that. Hop into global config mode. And I'm going to go ahead and paste it. Yes. I want to end it. Copy run start. And I want to issue a reload. I'm going to do the same thing on R3, since that's where our tunnel is going. I can type tonight, I promise. Yes. I need to copy. Run. Start. I need to reload it. All right, so we enabled the licensing on both ends. So part one is done. We need to do part two, but it looks like I'm gonna be doing a lot of the same steps. So I'm gonna open up a notepad. Ping from A to C. It should work, it should go through R1, R2, R3, and that way. So first thing we want to do is we want to create an ACL that will allow the traffic to flow through it. I'm going to move notepad out of the way because I want notepad for step three. Cisco enable comp P. All right, I Configure an ACL to identify traffic from the LAN from R1 to R3 of interest. That's what we did. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that ACL and we're going to apply it so that traffic that is destined for it will actually go through our tunnel. Between R1 and R3, which that's what we did. Remember that due to the implication that I all there is no need to add the statement to the list. Yeah, we already know that. We've already done that. So let's go ahead and do this. I want to copy it in a notepad. All right, so. Encryption AES, we're going to have policy 10 for our key sharing. Encryption AES, we're going to do a pre-shared key, we're defining group 2, and then we're applying the crypto 
key Cisco. Key Cisco, here we go. This will be the key. Here's the pre-shared key. And I did that in Notepad because I bet we're going to have to do it again on our Zoom. All right, and it doesn't say phase one table for the specific parameters. Again, I'm looking up here for that information. AES, the appropriate, uh, we're doing phase one. What type of encryption, what type of hashing algorithm, things of that nature are passphrase. All right, so now, we're going to configure phase two, which will be that guy. And again, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get rid of this portion. We're mapping our VPN map using the appropriate policy pin, we're setting our peers, we're setting our transform set, and here we have our match address, that's our actual applying of our ACL. I'm going to go ahead and paste it, and we should be done with that portion on R1. Well, one of the problems is we set up all of it, but just with an ACL, just because we have it set up, if it's not applied anywhere, then it's not actually taken into account. Hence the, this part right here. We actually need to navigate to our serial. We need to actually map our VPN map to it. And there we go. We've set up one side of the tunnel. Part three is actually about setting up the other portion. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this. I'm going to go back to my notepad. Now, let's go ahead and let's go through this. Access list 110, permit. There we go. Set up our appropriate policy number, pin, AES, shared key, group to exit. Here we're actually gonna be listing our peer. So correct the IP address. Once we've done that, we can actually go back to phase two. IPsec, transform set, there we go, VPN set. We're doing triple deaths. We're doing our SHA-1. Our crypto map will be called VPN map pin using IPsec. That's what we did. We just provided a description, except here we're going to R1. Our peers need to be updated. 1111.2. We're doing our VPN set. We are applying our ACL. Let's hop over to R3. Enable Cisco. Conf P. Let's go ahead and paste what we were working on. And it looks like it took all of it. So our tunnel has been configured on both sides now. 
So all we have to do is verify them. All right, so we've done that part. Oh, except I messed up. Here we're doing serial zero one. So actually I want to do no crypto map. I want to go to a different serial and I want to apply it there. It helps if we're doing our tunnels between correct locations. All right, so next, let's do some verification. We're going on to part four. Let's go ahead and issue a few show commands. R1, we need to do the show crypto IPsec SA. We should notice packets in cap and dcap should be zero. Let's go ahead and ping from PCA or PCC to PCA. Ping 192.168.1.3. First one should fail. And the other one should pick up. Right, there it goes. All right, let's go ahead and hop on R1. We're gonna reissue that show command. We actually wanna see the types of encapsulation and decap packets that we received. And there we go. We can see that traffic is flowing through the tunnel. We've already done that. Create a uninterested traffic ping from PCB. The PCA. One nine two dot one six eight dot one dot three. This is not going through the tunnel. So when you see the updated output, nope, I messed up. When you see the updated output, you will not get six and you know you won't see an increase in this because this is only for traffic that was approved to go through that tunnel. And actually that is it. I'm gonna wait for this to trans finish translating so I can do a show so we can double check this before we finish this video. Alright, there we go. Again, you'll notice no increase. That's because that traffic was not destined to go through the IPsec tunnel. All right, let's go ahead and do a check results to verify. And there we go. Assessment items, 60 out of 60, 12 out of 12, check marks on everything. So that was the end of this video. If you have any questions or need any help, please let me know. Thank you.